people my people welcome to the, in, in, the <clears throat> sorry interview with imbu distillery mick and mel sat down with me in their distillery and we chatted and speak speak your mind come yeah. on speak your mind accountants doctors and lawyers where, which went you know what we're going to open a baker's delight because we've got the fucking money and the money's there and that kind of stuff pisses me off because it, it does take away that ability for artisans to be able to and we're using baker's delight as an example but that happened in baker's delight and they didn't care about the stuff. Well, it was they a franchise. It was a well, franchise. So they they a, were solely about... They were selling the franchises. People jumped on board. Yeah. But they jumped on board because of the popularity, not because it was a lifestyle change. And you can write off passionate this. about or yeah. whatever. And, and it's a tax write-off. And it was a tax yeah. write-off for these people who had a shitload of money. And the same, so, I see the same thing with the alcohol industry. It's like, if you're in it for the right reason, and I deem that we're in it for the right reason, we're in it, and Cameron and Stu, they're in it for the right reason. They did it because they wanted to do it. And not just wanted to do it. They've got the passion behind creating something that becomes an Australian brand and something that people are passionate about. And you can stand on your pedestal and say, hey, I did this. This is what I'm true and passionate about. We started this because we wanted an out out of the food industry, but still be very tactile with what, what we spent the last, you know, 67 years doing for us, you know, having that, being in food, but not waking up at, any time around the clock yeah and having that having a product that you can sell more than more on than the day it's created minutes. which yeah. is the problem with bread and pastry and uh-huh. even cafes yeah, to that yeah. Extent, restaurants I mean, it's, it's so on the day yeah. or you're fucked <laughs> yeah yeah oh, I don't know I completely understand I um I actually spent a fair bit of time washing pots and, mm. and yeah. doing that stuff I actually worked at the Grand Hyatt at the turn of the century and then went off and became a gardener because I screwed up early Pull the practical joke that was not appreciated on one of the premises. Um, fronted court because he screamed assault and um, went and became a gardener where I can work by myself. And I, well, I can swear at dogs. I was actually weeding someone's garden yesterday and throwing crumbs of grass at the dog. The dog was having a ball as he dodged, dodged, <laughs> dodged around the yard as I'm throwing crumbs of weeds at this dog. But yeah, I. I can yeah, when, when people jump on just because it's trending and it seems to be the popular thing to do, I mean, it's doing it just for money. It's, yeah. I don't think it's... My name's Ronald R. Dickwad, and I'm I'm a highly professional um, brain surgeon. And well, to make me an interesting personality, do you know I actually have my own gin brand? Yeah, that. Yeah, that, that <laughs> the stuff pisses me off. It's like Kardashians. It's like you know what they've got worth so much money. Why do they need a tequila brand? Yes, you drink. You don't need to do it. Let the people who do it do it well. And give them the space and the, the autonomy and the strength to be able to grow a brand mm. instead of flooding the market with your crap face wipe and yeah, um, Ryan Reynolds Aviation yeah. Gin. In case yeah. of every time you look at every, you know you uh, so much as sneezes about Aviation Gin, and all of a sudden there's a million viewers. In case yeah, of a million viewers, which then he makes a shitload of money on. It's like fuck off. Let's be honest. It, it, it's it not was a quality. great product. Well, I actually haven't tried it yet. Oh, I've got but, it upstairs. Uh, can, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it gets sold yeah, because it's... Big back bar. Well, sorry? We had a crazy big back bar. Yeah. Um, should be noted that... Um, what you, Mick's got about 10 genes up there if you want to go um, engaging in math and put a couple of number, little numbers above the 10. Um, I think <laughs> just it's... Just a couple. Yeah, just a couple. Of, I think there's a three um, above the gin, above the 10. Um, but yeah, it's... I mean, you know, when you get... Soul because you're, you're Ryan Reynolds and you've got a good looking head. Because yeah. If, yeah um, oh, he's hot, let's be honest. He's not my type, quite it's my, my type, type of boy, but yeah, <laughs> I, I can understand where, you know, there'd be a couple of people wanting to jump those bones. Um, but you sell the gin because it's, well, I'm Ryan Reynolds. It's, yeah, yeah. So if, yeah, is your product actually w- drinkable? But it is hard because, like, we're competing as, as a brand, we're competing with those products that people go oh i like ryan reynolds so i'm gonna buy his gin yeah i think i think the way the market has gone is we're not actually competing in that space anymore i think that space is quite different to the the craft space that we are no no go ahead selena knows liz de becky i don't know that person she's a film star she was in the great gatsby maybe she should hold a bottle of our gin (laughs) that's exactly what i'm thinking (laughs) We could meet. No, no, we, no, no, Selena, we had contact with, um, we bumped into Liz's parents at Daniel Market, and it was interesting to see that she actually holds the same opinion of my father in law as what I do. Um, and I think the words jumped up, it all um, got used, and then it went downhill. 
So, but if you want that film star thing, I'll see if that we can. Be fun. Oh, because she's a tall drink Do of water. Do we want the film star though? That's oh, the she question. wants to buy the business. All right. <laughs> yeah, she might like you buy it out of the last pocket money. <laughs> um, but if no, if you want to, I can see if she can reach out to That'd be fun. get Liz to Becky. Um, there's a difference between somebody coming and trying the gin versus somebody buying the brand that's like it's and selling the Absolutely. Their own brand and, and having a marketing team of 55 people come back and interview with Liz Debicki sure. and um Mick and you know Mick can stand there and look all starstruck at this tall blonde lissom girl in her early 30s sure and um, you can just look at it look at him and go Mick just just come down I don't know Selena I don't know Talking about reaching out to Liz to Bicky and seeing if we can have a Ryan Reynolds moment with Aviation Gin. After we just slagged it off. We didn't slag it off. We yeah, we did. Of, uh, yeah, kind this of. is the reason why I stepped out of the room. Let you work is your it? magic and shoot yourself in the foot if you need to. Um, anyway, on a, on a note about us. So I've got a two yeah. arrow horn. Hang on, do you want to let Odin ask the question? No. no, go on. No, no. this is, this is no. easy. He's doing my work it's, for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we, All right, two to away, Mick. Two, two to away. <laughs> Tell me what's um, on your mind, Mick. Uh, ever since we started, we're not just, I, I love brown spirits. Mel, Mel and Nikki are all about the white spirits. Luke and I are all about the brown spirits. No, we're getting there. We're getting there, getting there. Getting there. Um, so we've, ever since we started, we started making whiskies and we do have some three and a half to going on four years old in January whiskey that's been in barrels. We haven't released it because it's like, uh, kind of fending our firstborn off to the daycare center. It's kind of a bit nerve-wracking thinking about doing it. And also, it's very expensive for us to release a product. So we haven't actually released our whiskey. We're just about to release our brandy, which I'm super excited about. Yeah, um, I will be buying your brandy and your vodka today, and I will be reviewing them, trust me. <laughs> cool. Um, um, yeah, so we've got brandy down, we've got whiskey down. We're sitting on, for a, it's small compared to a lot of distilleries, but we're sitting on about 63, 64 barrels of whiskey. Um, we're going to do some more um, whiskey early 2023 but we're aging it for as long as it needs to we're not pushing it we're just you know it is it is what it is and we're absolutely no, enjoying the journey that's one yeah. good thing of it if you your, your barrel aged product isn't selling what you do is you just put it back in the barrel and let it go for another year or two and exactly. see exactly the yeah. maturation actually helps flog it in another well, two or three years yes time. but we're trying not to actually release product until we think it's ready yeah mm. rather than you know oh, that. i understand that but if people go on oh, mm, because yeah okay we'll just Keep the ones we've got in the barrels for that much longer and yeah, just let everything sure. mature. Yeah. Um, and I think I was saying to Mick on the weekend that you're going to try a um, Jerusalem father choke. Oh, yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> so I've got yeah, a whole no, heap of no, chokes. No, like, no. Yeah. We have our fair share of father chokes. Luke and Nikki have plenty in their garden. But I think and we should just give it a go and make a, a father choke vodka. No, it's not happening. And we just have like a plume of smoke on no, the label. Unless you want to do it as and like call a... And call it o Oden, Oden Vodka. <laughs> And have like plumes of, it'd be funny, it could be fun. I think we can do we, that. We actually, we actually have a superhero in my house. There's um, Bum Thunder. <laughs> so the superhero <laughs> Bum Thunder. And the twins are Bum Trumpet and Bum Bugle. Because nice. being boys, they fart. And there's a lot I've of... Never yeah, I, I really don't need yes. to be sitting in between Hello, Pinocchio. this my, my. conversation right now. It's, I have my fair shit at home. Okay, um, I think on this one, we might actually wind it up. Um, thank you for being traumatized and watching all of this. Um, and no, I have absolutely no control of what the fuck happens. Um, Sorry. Doesn't Selena edit it? I thought that... I'm the editor. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> You're we're screwed. Um, it's a bit like our love life for the um, first six months of having twins. We just look at each other and go, we're screwed. And it's about as far as it got. It's... But this is the insanity of From the Still. Um, and what I love about the industry is um, horrible small personalities, people who <laughs> hate what they do. Hate it. Um, yeah, it just, I mean, the wrist slashing that you do not see um, is just, well, it's really quite terrible. So stay tuned. Um, you're going to be seeing Aaron from Tanline. So I'll be doing my very first Zoom meeting, which I hope I will not screw up too badly. And I've got Andrew from Melbourne Gin Company coming in. And I'm going to roll over, play dead, and see if I can get another Singaporean gin um, to have an interview with me um, so soon. Be soon. So sometime in January. You really do get around, don't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a gin slut. <laughs> <laughs> good work, good work. The Baby Pink Gin Co. has also been approached 
and I might actually see if my darling wife would continue the tradition with that of being only girls so that I may write the questions. My darling wife would do the interview in there in Brunswick. So uh, can I do a shout out? Big shout as loud as you want. Uh, Just sh shout out the camera, Mick. Shout out to Burns Welding, who's created our stiller in Griffith, and our smallest still, our original still, was from HHH -H -H Still in Western Australia. So our stills are Australian. We made that a, that choice because we wanted to support. Keep manufacturing local. in Australia. Unlike uh, Brogan's Way, which I think their still is German. Yeah. And it you can use it within an inch of its yeah. life. To be honest, most most people are using European or German stills. Um, there's a there's a handful using Australia made. It, they're they're a hell of a lot more expensive, and the wait times are massive because it's a very specialised field, and there's not many people doing it. Mm. But we thought it was a worthwhile choice. Consciously, we made that choice because we wanted to support. Mm. Very the very I mean, practice what we preach. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, but with the um, German stills, you can understand the reason why their tanks were so hard to kill in World War Two. They are just over-engineered, like a factor of three or four. And Ben said, "Oh, it took needed three bolts. How many have you got? Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they, they really don't want this to go anywhere short of you know the big crunch at the end." Nine kaboom. <laughs> so. Thank you. So with this, we shall on um, this high note. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the other interviews and stay tuned for the extras which come out on Fridays. And above all, if you've watched this far, the competition is running. Make it 250 subscribers on YouTube, 500 followers on Instagram, and someone is going to win a Four Pillars t-shirt. Let it be you. And I actually don't care if you um, subscribe and follow because that way you end up with two t-shirts, not one. Is that it? That's a pretty shit prize. Can we chuck a bottle of gin on top of the prize for you? If you want to add a bottle of gin. We'll no, add a bottle of gin. If it's international, I can't send it. No, that's well, problem. it's Australia wide. We'll, we'll put if it's international, we'll give you some kind of merch, all right? Okay. If you, if it's an Australian winner, we'll chuck a bottle of gin. If it's outside of Australia, we'll give you something. Yeah, a t-shirt. Shirt, <laughs> shirt off my back. Oh, <laughs> no, you got the pineapple shirt. <laughs> really? Washed. Washed. Oh. Which week <laughs> or which month did you wash it in? <laughs> so, thanks. Thank much. you very much for that. Thank you. And this has been Mick and Mel. Yes. Yes. Oh. Thank God the Alzheimer's has finally <laughs> run away. Catch you around. See. Bye.